Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking the handles off of this knife. This is a Fighting Rooster Coal Miner's Knife. You can see there right there, Coal Miner. It's a beautiful knife, made in Germany. You can see the two little Fighting Roosters right here. Uh, great snap, made in Germany. The only thing is the handles are really dry rotted and we're going to try to take these scales off without breaking them because we're going to use this to trace on a piece of wood to cut the new handles out of or the new scales out of so we got to be careful when we take this off because they're really dry rotted and uh, i hope we can get them off with no problem but this knife is going to be beautiful guys we're going to be using zebra wood and uh it's going to be a beautiful knife this wood was sent in by mr patrick at cheesy moon workshop Y'all check his channel out. He's, he does repairs on knives. He does reviews of knives. He's, he's a great guy. But this little jewel right here is going to be a good looking knife when we're done. It's got a little bit of surface rust on the back back here. See that right there? And uh, a little bit of surface rust here. We're going to try to take that off on the fiber wheel over there. But it's going to be a great looking knife when we're done. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today. And I hope you enjoy the video. Here it is right here, guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to grind these heads down a little bit to try to help us uh, get one of these scales off uh, to use as a model. We're going to lay the scale up here and trace around it and then cut it out with my bandsaw. But that's, that's what we're going to do now. We're going to try to grind the heads down with my Dremel tool. Gotta be careful going around it. Mmm, see. There we go, that's one. One more. Oh, I got it off. Thank goodness. See that right there? And we're going to take these pins out right here. I'm only going to use that pin to put the new piece of wood on there. I'm going to grind, try to grind this one down. Because I already got one off. That's all I need. This one is rough shape. this stuff away look at that pin that's the handle right there I'm going to try to get these pins out It's just too hard to line up, guys. Now we're gonna take it over here on the fiber wheel and clean this up. Get that, get that surface rust off of there, and the surface rust off of this blade here. See, it's got 287 on there. Mm, see it right there? 287. It's like a spade blade. It's gonna be a good looking knife.
Okay, I cleaned up pretty doggone good now, I ain't gonna lie. See that surface rust is gone. The surface rust is gone on this blade too. It's gonna be a beautiful knife. This is the mask I wear, guys. Anytime I grind or sand like this, this is the mask I use. I love it. My glasses don't fog up. I used to wear them N95 masks, whatever you call them. But I use this one now. It's very nice. The filters last a long time. I'll leave a link down below in the video description. But I love this mask. I really do. It's very comfortable, too. Alrighty, what I did, I taped up the bolsters and the blades. I got it, the handles, where they'll fit in between the bolsters. They're good and snug. They you gotta make sure they're all the way down. Yep. Hurrah. This is the left side. Like that. Now we gotta sand them down. that side it's pretty in it you wait till i put oil on it that's gonna pop that's the left that's the right now we're gonna have to scratch this up some so the glue will just settle in there real good take a it grips better with a rough surface I'm gonna wipe it down real good. Try to clean some of that dust off. sit for a little while okay, the glue's been sitting for about two and a half three hours so we're fixing to take the clamps off take a look at her yeah we're gonna clean it up ain't that pretty though i got something special i'm gonna do with this knife here gotta get it cleaned up though to clean it up with acetone get all that glue off of there
rooster knife. Add some mineral oil to it now. Watch that, how that grain and that wood just pops now. Ain't that beautiful though? <laughs> it couldn't have turned out no better, guys. Watch this. See how that grain just comes alive in there? Watch this. Mr. Kenny gonna like this now. Give these joints some much needed oil. I need to let that soak in, but in the time being, I'm gonna clean these springs. They're a little rusty down through here. It's got grime on it at all. See that snap? It's walking and talking, as they say. It's got its dignity back, y'all. It's a fighting rooster from Germany. Looks good. It really does. I love it. Man, it's beautiful. I'm going to shine up them bolsters, too. Okay, guys, here she is. Fighting Rooster, Solingen, Germany. It's a Frank Buster Cutlery Company, Germany. Just listen to snap. Oh boy. I'm talking about a heavy snap. Look at this spade blade. See, it's got the Fighting Roosters over there. It's got Solingen on there. Hear that? But my cousin, she does an excellent job up there. I asked her to laser that rooster on there, which I've seen it. She can do anything with that thing. Beautiful, beautiful knife now. Ain't that cool? Very cool. Mm, mm, mm. Well, Mr. Kenny, I hope I've done you proud, man. This thing is beautiful. It really is. Zebra wood. Turned out real good. Real good. Beautiful. This is what it used to look like, guys. Look here. That's the old bolster right there. I mean, this is the old scale. See that? How about that? Beautiful. I love this thing. It's a coal miner. Mm-mm-mm. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I certainly had a ball doing this thing. I love doing stuff like this, guys. It went from this to that. Ain't that awesome? Beautiful. Again, my uh, my cousin, her shop is called uh, Dirt Road Dreams Mercantile. Uh, she has an Etsy shop. I'll put it... Uh, down in the link below but uh it turned out great guys it cleaned up good it's sharp as a razor i love that hit that snap man i love that well anyway guys i just want to say thank y'all for tuning in i just want to say uh appreciate all the views all my subscribers thank y'all so much and i just want to say god bless y'all till we meet again guys y'all be like a good night stay sharp